back to my next video. Uh, today we have a video that I shot last January in uh, 2017 and I went down to the big tent at the at Quartzsite at the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous and walked around with my camera and I specifically looked for um, vendors who were hiring and so that's mainly what you're going to see and I talked to a few of them and I also just show you the whole big tent. I mean there's such a it's such an attraction and there's so many uh, oddball things for sale there. I think you'll enjoy just seeing it and you'll see enjoy seeing the vendors as well just to entice you to come to the RTR and and see the big tent. So let's go ahead and watch that video and uh, and you'll know when we talk about the big tent exactly what we're talking about. So let's see the big tent in action. So I'm outside the big tent now it's really windy. Uh, get some concept of the size of the thing it's huge and right over here there's a long row of porta potties, so you can see that no problem going to the bathroom if you need to. And uh, just really, really big tent. I'll go inside and show you around a bit. So I'm not even in the tent yet, but this is one of the main things you're here for. Most of us are here for to get a job. American Land and Leisure is one of the largest in the country, uh, they say, of hiring uh, campground hosts, and they host. They have. The sign here says over 400 locations nationwide. So if you're looking for a job, this is a great place. In fact, I know a guy who came in yesterday, or Saturday, the first day of the big tent, went in and instantly had a job. He told him he wanted to go remote and be further out, and they said, man, we need you. Let me, uh, let me hire you. And they hired him on the spot. He went away with a job. So this is a good one. American Land and Leisure. This one is has always been in this spot. It's just outside, southwest corner of the outside of the tent. Here is another outfit. I don't even know who they are. I'm not familiar with them. We actually but they're, host, they're hiring for campground hosts as well. So right outside the job is out right outside the tent are two places hiring for campground hosts. So lots of jobs here. Let's go inside now. So I just stepped inside, I mean right inside the door. So what you're gonna see is tons and tons of vendors of all kinds, of all kinds of stuff. Um, a lot of RV related, not of it RV related, uh, just every kind of thing. The state of Alaska has a booth here. It's about 3.30 on, uh, on, uh, on Monday, they open Saturday. So the crowds are way gone. This is a small crowd here. Uh, at, at the when they open you can barely even move around so there was adventure caravans here's RV braking systems uh, grilling lots of cooking things here all right scooters a lot of elderly RVers blankets it's odd how little of it has to do with RVs jewelry so here's the escapees RV club. They've got a booth here, signing people up for escapees. Uh, Roadmaster selling Roadmaster stuff. Roadmaster makes great stuff, right? Thank you. We do. We do. We were all. We were all. Here's a booth full of all kinds of RV stuff. has absolutely nothing to do with RV living. Puffy eyes, no more Botox, uh, leather goods. And here is the one that you'll be interested in. This is um, the California Land Management booth, which I worked for for four years. Big fan of California Land Management. I recommend highly that you uh, sign up. Kempco has a lot of really great stuff. And uh, so this is a good one. Passport America, which is a big uh, campground across the country, you save up to 50 percent. That's something you might want to give some serious thought to, is, is becoming a member of one of those, if, if you stay in RV parks. Mule Days in Bishop, California, which is one of my favorite places in the world. 
barbecue grill mount, so I always have those here. I bought one, never use it, throw it away. How much are your uh, deep cycles? 135. Pretty good price. Here is where you can get our, uh, if you need satellite TV, uh, Satellite Vantage sells them, installs them, brake systems for uh, the big rigs. Fire pressure monitors, 12 volt compressors by air makes a great product. Calam Resort. So, so far we've seen three different uh, people hiring for jobs. Uh, just more schlock for lots of stuff. Here's a uh, leak and worry free roof for life. Or something you might, a lot of you might be interested in. I'll go look at it. Dutch ovens and uh, a lot of good stuff there. It's good. A lot of you will use Dutch ovens, I'm sure. Uh, RV LED lighting. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, lots of RV LED lights here. Yes, we've been doing this for quite some time now. Do you have any uh, dimming, the dimming lights? We do not dim. You do not dim? Yeah, okay. we actually go for longevity. So everything has zero to I mean, 10 volt to 30 volt DC uh, voltage protection. So when you dim, you're effectively changing the voltage. And our lights think that the battery is dying and dipping. Right. So, uh, it's either you can dim or you can have longevity, but you really can't have both at least. Here's one of the few, Zamp Solar, which is one of the most expensive. Probably quali good quality, but it's so expensive, I don't think I'd want one. You can do a lot better for your money. So that was one down one row. There are three rows. That was one down one row. So there's three of the long rows, like while we just went down. And there are... Uh, there's an outside around the whole outside. And a couple of tents I came, uh, places I came for right here. It changes every year. Oh, this is one of the better ones. It's a tent full of RV stuff. And usually it's a little better than retail. So RV, you know, LED lights. Lots of LED lights. And chairs. <laughs> one thing you can buy in Quartzsite is chairs. Tons and tons of chairs. And just every kind of little IV. And it's usually like better than retail. Nearly everything in here will be slightly better than retail. Folding chairs, just the stuff you need for um, for your RV. Pretty nice looking uh, outside uh, kitchen. Fifty nine bucks, pretty good price. A good price on that stool. That's a good stool. And then just like it. Over here. So. And of course, food. There's always food. Tremendously overpriced food. Couldn't spend, could not make yourself pay as much as they're asking here for food. Big Dometic dealership here. Lots of food things. I'd say less than half of this is, has anything to do with RVs at all. There's usually a Honda tent out here somewhere. My Oh, so this isn't the Yamaha dealer, but he's selling Yamahas. $889 for the Yamaha 2000. That's a really good price. Under $900 under $900 for a Yamaha 2000 is a really good price. So that would be if I were looking for the Yamaha 2000, I would be here buying. Because that's about as good a price as you can get. And he's got a lot of, you know, just all the other RV things you could want. And probably a little better than full retail, which is what you're going to pay anywhere else. This is a step that I highly recommend, and in $14 for this step is a really good price. That's what I have and recommend, and $14 is a very good price. Better than Walmart. Walmart sells them sometimes, and they're more than $14. Here's the... Uh, the Medic fridge for $6.29. That's a very good price for a CFX50. Because after a, a new fridge, I would be giving that some serious thought. Just want to show them how many generators you got sitting here. That's a lot of generators. It's a lot less than what we had. You sold a whole bunch, huh? Yeah, we'd like to sell some more. I bought my last one here at the tent. All right. Got a good deal. Today. How much are you selling the 2000 for? 
They're right now they're uh, on sale for nine forty nine. That's a good price for two thousand. Yeah, they're taking fifty dollars off for the convention today. And how about how about the uh, one thousand? Uh, the one thousand actually this is the last one I have. Uh, that one's seven ninety nine. Oh. So only hundred fifty bucks more, you get a two thousand. And with size, one, noise, fuel economy. Some people it's worth it. Cover and the DC chargers with it as well. With yeah, the two thousand. That's so a good deal. That's another bonus. You know? That is a good bonus. So that's the Honda deal. And in this case, I'd buy a Yamaha. So I'd buy between the Honda, the Honda and the Yamaha, strictly based on price. To my mind, they're uh, they're the same thing. So here's a guy giving CCW classes here in, in Arizona. Arizona's very liberal about giving away CCWs, concealed carry weapons permit. And then you have a class you can take right there. One of the big things here is a million uh, RVs for sale. That's a lot of what goes on here is RVs for sale. That's more RV stuff for sale, LED lights, tables, solar panels. Most solar panels here are pretty overpriced. So this is Thousand Trails and they also run uh, campgrounds and they're hiring right now. So it says campground host for four service campgrounds. We provide free campsites, wages, you provide campground hosting. So you come here, there's a job waiting for you. So I've seen one, two, three, four vendors hiring campground hosts, and usually there are more. The membership booth is in this row, and the other end. Thousand drinks. So I'm still at the booth, the big tent, and I'm at the Amazon booth. You can see now hiring work campers. And so that's where I'm at here, the Amazon booth. And right next to it, is the bead harvest booth. So they're hiring, this lady, nice lady, is hiring for the bead harvest. Pardon me? Uh, no, I'm not looking for work, but I know a lot of people who are. All right, send them all. And uh, one of the things I've, I've heard from different people, a lot of the people that I know sleep in uh, vans. And in some place you can take, you can sleep in a van in the RV park, and some places you can't. Right. In Montana, we cannot accept that because we don't have too many. We have so few camping sites. But in North Dakota, we could probably accommodate that. Okay, so go to Mo North Dakota, and you probably can. Yes. Okay. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. And then over here is the Delaware North. And they do the run the concessions at uh, Yellowstone. So you're here hiring for Yellowstone for this summer. Yes, I am. So a person could come here and sign up and get a job. Yep, for the months of April to October. Oh wow, how cool! Yeah. Excellent. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So I think I'm going to call it good there. That's a, a long, long tour of the. Uh, of the RV, big tent RV show, lots to hear. So next year, plan on coming to uh, Quartzsite uh, for the RTR, uh, January. I always coincide it with the, per the beginning of the, uh, with the beginning of the big tent is the first weekend of the big tent is the last weekend of the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, so you can come down and get a job. And everyone that I know of that came down here to get a job got a job. They're here, they're available, they're hiring. Uh, my boss always told me that by the end of the big tent, he wanted to fill every position. And so we went over there and looked and they only have a few left. So they've hired and hired and hired and if you were here, you'd have gotten hired too. So come on down here and uh, see the big tent and see the, the madness and uh, enjoy it for yourself. Thanks for watching. Uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends that there's another better way to live. That if you haven't been happy with your life for a long time, there's a way to be happy with your life. If, you're, if your economic world is crashing around you, there's a way out. And I hope you will come and find it. So, visit with you later.